everyone and welcome back. Hope you're having an awesome day. The time has come. It is inevitable. It can no longer be delayed. You guys know how much I love mowing the grass. It's that time of the year. It's the time to cut the grass. It's getting a little out of control. I've let it go a little while and we've had a ton of rain. So yeah, it's a great opportunity. You know, you get to, you get to clean the yard. You get to pick everything up so the mower doesn't destroy it and or send something flying into your face. And you know what, it's just such a riot. Let's, let's do this, let's have some fun mowing. Oh, that's the end of the line. Look at this wreck. Why don't you go get the chainsaw and chop all this up for me? Just kidding. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is a bit of a safety hazard, I think. Such a big tree, such a big mess. I'm gonna have to live with my chainsaw for like the next two weeks. All right, well that's it for mowing right now until I do some serious chainsaw work. Dad. I got the backyard looking pretty good. Come on, Dad. What do you want? Get me up. Two. Oh, that was yeah. Whoa, that's awesome. I mean, other than just pure UV, tons of sunlight, um, you know, nylon also shrinks when it gets wet. So maybe all the constant rain and snow, and I mean, it's almost been, I don't know, Dad, 10 months on. since this thing's been up. Get on. I'll break it. No, you won't. Yeah, look how damaged this thing is. I'll just rip right through and... You won't rip it. Yeah, I feel like I will, little buddy. I feel like I will break it. You've been on here before. Uh, I'm definitely too big for that now. It's a little dry rotted for my weight, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I love doing that. That's really cool. Woohoo! I call it the 360 spin. 360 spin. Headed back up. All right, you know, uh, we're all getting pretty big. Let's see if we can still do this. Pile on. Oh yeah, we got this no problem. Guys, I got this story. All right, so Saturday after we built the table, um, we're sitting inside, right? We're, I think we're playing a game or something, and we hear this. <laughs> the cat was out here on this railing. The window was open, but the screen was down. The cat jumps to go in the window, doesn't see the screen, hits the screen and falls all the way down to the concrete. That's at least 15 feet. Cat was fine. We jump up, run outside, and the cat walks up like nothing happened. I, I'm still mind blown about it. Watch this. We caught on camera. Watch this cat. All right, no one's coming for me. He's looking down, he's, he's assessing how long of a drop it is. This is it. This is for all the cabbage. He jump. There he oh. jump. Wow. He might have landed on his feet. 100% on his feet. And then there he goes. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, that cat just died. But he didn't. He was perfectly fine. Uh, that was our orange cat, Maui. And, um, you know, I think he used one of his lives on that one. That was a huge drop. On the concrete. Dale, what'd you think of Maui falling out the I, window? I teared. Yeah, it was scary, wasn't it? So it was absolutely crazy, that cat falling, and it's been the highlight probably of the weekend in terms of like, since he was okay, it ended up being funny. So by the time you're watching this, it is in fact Taco Tuesday. I mean, it's only Monday, but it's Taco Tuesday right now in the video. But we're not really doing tacos, we're doing the ultimate homemade nacho dinner platter. That's right, I've been to a lot of places and I've tried a lot of nachos since this chip band's been up. And you know what? I've been semi-unsatisfied with every experience. So we're gonna ramp it up, homemade, custom, tailored, to my taste buds liking. They're gonna be huge. Keep it back outside, uh, Conrad has this obsession with painting TRD's gold and we just got this super fancy gold spray paint with Gold glitter sparkles. Okay. Shake it up real good. Then just use that one. Connor, you're a smart little boy. I'm gonna take the belt clip off this one. 
put it on this one. Do a test sample to see how gold this is. Whoa. Oh, it's just like gold fleck and clear paint with gold speckles. Oh, Connor, did you just rub your hand in it? Right. You silly boy. No, don't wipe it on your shirt. Why? Because it's paint. That's good. Now, you want to stay kind of far back. You don't want it to run. That's probably pretty good. Hit it. Push it down harder. Scoot back a little bit. You're too close. See? <laughs> I'm a little downwind. Run. <laughs> Smart Conrad, stay on that side. The wind's blowing it this way. Looks like a it looks like a bar of gold puked. It's like gold. golden snot. That looks awesome. Especially like half black. That is really cool. I don't know if this camera does it justice, but it's really cool paint. <laughs> Something barfed on yours too. Ew. Huh? Two! Did you see that? It just like, wow! That just spit everywhere. Oh! Huh? Two! <laughs> uh -uh. Alright, guys, well, when I was younger, we used to take spray paint cans and we would do it very crudely, but we would take a knife cut the cans open and extract the fancy marbles. There used to be like these really cool fancy marbles inside of spray paint cans. And sometimes we'd get some and they were just pure metal, but uh, they were always like chrome, like really cool super marbles. So years later, let's see what's inside a new modern spray paint can. The kids have already expended the glitter can and beat the heck out of it. So we're gonna cut it open with a huge pair of metal scissors. snips. Snips. Metal, metal scissors, that, that works Dad, too. The gloves on for this. Decompress a little bit. Still got a little gas in it. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're a little better than halfway through. I don't remember the cans being so tough. Where's their marble? I see something. Let's just dig this open a little bit. There it is. There's the marble inside of a name brand spray paint can. Marbles with the marble set. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We used to cut these open with just like knives, just like kitchen knives and stuff, and pull these out. Uh, I don't recommend doing that. The scissors was much safer. And uh, I don't recommend you using scissors either. So, uh, but yeah, they're just really nice little glass marbles inside them spray paint cans and that's what you hear rattling around when you shake it just one little marble I wonder how many times you'd have to shake it if there was ten marbles in there like five times and it's done instead of this one little marble thing I don't know I'd love to hear the research behind it like why not put five marbles in it and shake half the time tell me why tell me why they don't put more marbles in there are they cost prohibitive is a marble expensive I don't know alright well there you have it that's what's inside a spray paint can. All right, well, nachos are ready. We got a huge plate of nachos, sour cream, salsa, nacho cheese, refried beans, meat. Hope they're everything I dreamed they would be. What is it? Oh, come on, you gotta get some salsa on there. That's just sauce. <laughs> I love dancing. You can boogie. So the sour cream drizzle is what's gonna set, oh, I wish it was thinner. Get like the, uh, Nice drizzle look. I definitely could have did better on that one. All right, which one to choose? Here we go. Mmm. Pretty good. The only thing this is missing is some jalapenos, but it's really good. I'll see you guys in just a second. Guys, after dinner, I got the movie line of the night. Write in the comments below if you know the answer. Here it is, and it goes something a little like this. Sergeant Doofus, did you paste this sticker on my windshield? That's right, Cupcake. All right, that's the line. That's all I'm gonna give you. Write in the comments below what movie you think it is. Guys, that's gonna do it for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button, please. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>